as soon as my computer decides that it wants to cooperate, you can see it's not quite moving here with me yet. Okay, moving along to the next method of data collection, as we scroll down um, following our previous ones, we have focus groups. Now, in addition to the information about focus groups that you found in this first link, so in the interviewing link that I reviewed uh, for the interviewing video, Remember I had mentioned how if you reviewed that particular video that focus groups were listed there so there's some information here about focus groups along with um, you know some resources and you'll see um, particularly Morgan and Kitzinger uh, their names popping up uh, several times a barber there as well not me and RS barber uh, I mentioned those because they're sort of bigger people in the field you'll note that the item that I've chosen to put in for focus groups is actually an article from a publication called the uh, Social Research Update. It's actually a publication that um, I'm not sure if actually they still do this, uh, but it comes out of the University of Surrey and Surrey are well known as being a, a focal point for qualitative research but they go through and, and this person Anita Gibbs has a, a nice relatively short uh, overview of focus groups um, you know some of the things that they can allow you to do but also some of the limitations so advantages and disadvantages some practical advice on how to organize them and the role of the moderator throughout as well you'll see a number of resources again you see uh, Kit Zinger and Morgan's name uh, mentioned quite frequently throughout this and this one's a little bit quicker so between this and the information that you had under the uh, general interviewing tag up here so the qualitative research guidelines project interviewing those two resources should give you a nice overview of the focus group methodology sorry the focus group data collection method to the resources that I've provided in Blackboard, there are a couple of other ones that I'd like to mention. Um, this one here, Practical Guide, um, Focus Groups, a Practical Guide to, for Applied Research, uh, that's actually written by uh, Richard Kruger, so I don't know if it comes out there, because um, the I've got a thing over the actual name, so I should actually do it this. So, Richard Kruger as you can see there this one's not a bad one I've had it for quite a while this is the second edition I'm not sure what they're up to right now it's one of another sage book there is a handbook on focus group research as well although unlike the other handbook you can see that it's not quite as extensive uh, this one here is edited by Thomas Greenbaum um, but I mentioned two of the people when we were going through the blackboard resources in particular the first are actually three people uh, the first were Rosalind Barber and Jer, uh, Jeremy Kitzinger. Uh, they've got a wonderful book, actually. Of all the books I have on focus groups, this one here on developing focus group research um, is probably the, the best one that I've got. Um, it gives you a good academic background plus lots of potential um, advice in there, so that's always a good one. The other one that I think is quite nice um, is this Successful Focus Groups by uh, David Morgan, or at least edited by David Morgan. So this is a compilation piece. There's about a dozen chapters or so in there uh, written by a variety of folks, although um, obviously Morgan is the editor, so the first and the last chapters are by him. And then another one of those uh, qualitative research uh, handbooks, uh, part of that qualitative research series that Sage was doing, those little blue books, um, focus groups as qualitative research and you'll note that this one here is by David Morgan as well um, so you know like the other um, qualitative ones this one 75 pages actually 74 pages of text so relatively small you could probably pick it up on Amazon fairly cheap and much like all of the other ones um, at least in this particular series, it tends to give you a really good overview and introduction, but then it also gives you a lot of good hands-on sort of, this is how you would go about conducting the actual focus group, this is how you might consider transcribing it, this is how you might look at um, 
you know, analyzing that data when you're done. So it's a really good, useful book overall for you in terms of the focus group methodology. And because they're small paperback things, um, they tend to run fairly cheaply if it's something you'd like to pick up for your own collection. So that's basically it for focus groups as a data collection method.